Abortion is illegal, and protecting, committing, funding, or participating in the act is criminal, period. The truth of my assertion can easily be seen in America's founding documents. For example, in the Declaration of Independence, our founders were acknowledging a self-evident truth, wherein they stated, all men are created equal with certain unalienable rights. Did you catch that? They were not born equal, but rather created equal by their creator with certain unalienable rights, chiefly life. And we all know every human being is created in the womb of their mother. After Democratic National Committee Chairman Tom Perez said last week that the party's position on abortion is, every Democrat, like every American, should support a woman's right to make her own choices about her body and her health. He continued, this is not negotiable. Next, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer unequivocally asserted, But we are, let's make no mistake about right. it, we're a pro-choice party, we're right. a strongly pro-choice party. This, followed by Democratic Senator Dick Durbin appearing on CNN, seeming to back both positions, arguing, But as, as long as they are prepared to back the law, Roe versus Wade, prepared to back uh, women's uh, rights as, as we've defined them under the law, then I think they can be part of the party. In other words, those who are opposed to abortion are only welcome in the party if they are prepared to support policies that safeguard abortion. And for the unaware senator in Illinois, there is no legislation that made abortion legal. There's only a Supreme Court opinion with no legislative authority. Now, this ignorance was not shared by America's founding fathers. Take, for example, Declaration of Independence signer Benjamin Rush, who was also a doctor. He stated that life's, quote, first motion is produced by the stimulus of the male seed upon the female ovum. No sooner is the female ovum thus set in motion and the fetus formed than its capacity of life is supported. In the Constitution, we find the framers securing and guaranteeing protection of all life in the Fifth Amendment. No person shall be deprived of life without due process of law. This applies to every living person, and we know abortion violates this right by killing babies before they're born, let alone before due process. Today, we know far more about our biological development than Benjamin Rush could. We can actually see our children inside their mothers. We can hear their hearts beating. And they're no bigger than jelly beans. We can craft 3D models of your child's face before they're born. As an American, I work very hard to protect the rights of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness for my fellow Americans. I have many sincere friends who believe very strongly in the Democratic Party and platform. With equal sincerity, I ask of the friends and family members that I love very dearly, are you able in good conscience to be counted with this capital felony mindset that others can choose if you, your children, or your fellow man deserve life, liberty, or the pursuit of happiness? This is Jake McCauley with the Institute on the Constitution, bringing you the American View.